The Pittsburgh Steelers just scratched and clawed their way to yet another win and once again, as they always do, they are looking to put together a great season. This team is so dominant on the defensive side of the ball and on offense, things are starting to slowly click. And as I say in every video about this team, Mike Tomlin just knows how to win. Before I begin this video, I would really appreciate it if you would drop a like and subscribe. It only takes 5 seconds, plus you can always change your mind. Also, follow me on Instagram if you can, because I'm starting to post a lot of content on there, and all of your guys' support truly means the world. Alright, so starting off, I want to talk about what's been going on with George Pickens, because in case you're not up to date, after the win over the Titans, he posted free me on social media after only having two catches for negative one yards. This is the type of behavior that Mike Tomlin won't put up with, but Pickens is just so talented, and Heinz Ward gave him advice and said this isn't about him, and called out his behavior. Heinz said that he's just young and wants the ball, and needs to learn that you're gonna have ups and downs, and that this is a team game. Ward even said that he liked his competitiveness and that he wanted to get the ball, but when you start posting tweets and give the media a chance to bring it up, that can be a distraction to most teams, especially with Pittsburgh being so young. You just have to be mindful and be careful because you can't make it all about George Pickens. You've got to make it about the Pittsburgh Steelers and the reason why they have six Lombardi trophies in that building. It wasn't just about one player. I can guarantee you that. Obviously throughout Pittsburgh so far this season, there has been a lot of frustration about the offense and especially Matt Canada. And the Fire Canada chants have become a super famous thing to do and it's been happening literally everywhere. But I do have to call out Steelers fans a little bit for this because I've heard them say so many times throughout the last few years that they should fire Tomlin due to his recent mediocrity, and it's just ridiculous because they literally take him for granted so much. As a Browns fan, obviously I have a different perspective, but I've watched my team get a new head coach almost every year for the last decade and beyond, and Tomlin is a dude who hasn't even had a losing season in that time, and yet people want him out of there, which is just crazy. But hey, I'd be happy if he was fired because the Browns would pick him up in seconds. Anyways, recapping the win over the Titans, as I said earlier, this was a game where they had to grind and just find ways to get done what needed to be done. As crazy as it sounds, a simple touchdown pass to Deontay Johnson was kind of the story of this game, because it's been so long since he's seen the end zone, and it was almost getting to a point where the law of averages had to come into play because he was too good of a player to not even get a single touchdown. Rookie QB Will Levis made some impressive plays in the second half of the game for Tennessee, and he showed a lot of flashes that I'm sure Titans fans are excited about, but ultimately, the Steelers defense was just too much, and that's been the theme of this team for quite some time. Another guy that is also finally starting to see a little bit of light that was sort of bottled up for the first half of the season was Najee Harris. Obviously there is still a lot of work to do, but he finally found the end zone and he averaged over 4 yards a carry for the game. He needs to stay around there. One play that really stood out to me from this game that everyone is going nuts over is when TJ Watt literally got his helmet ripped off his head and he still managed to recover and make a great play. And he was so hyped after it, and so was the entire fan base. I think there needs to be a study on the Watt bloodline because they're not human, and TJ is starting to make me believe it too. Alright, moving on, now I want to talk about a rookie cornerback by the name of Darius Rush who had his first opportunity at extended playing time Thursday night just three weeks after signing to the 53-man roster from the practice squad of the Kansas City Chiefs. The Steelers front office has always done a great job of eyeing up talent that nobody wants that can help them at a given point in the season. They saw the potential of this guy pre-draft, he's a long and athletic corner, and rewarded them with strong plays throughout and late in the game. With the secondary underperforming a bit so far at this point in the season, Rush is definitely going to get more of a run going forward. And he was doing things that don't show up in the box score like the one play where he nearly forced a game ending pick 6 but the ball went right through his hands. Anyways, we can talk about this defense all day, so I want to switch over to the offense again for a bit and talk about Kenny Pickett because although it's not always pretty, he usually gets the job done and even if it's just from dinks and dunks, he's had 7 game winning drives already in his young career and whether you like him or not, he's definitely doing something special. Obviously there's so many areas in his game that he needs to improve in, but that can be said for almost everyone. I think it's finally time that people start putting a little bit of respect on his name because he follows the Pittsburgh motto of finding a way to get the job done and win. Matt Canada has always been a booth offensive coordinator, but finally, finally, he was on the sideline for this game, so now it wasn't only Canada and Pickett's ear. You had the backup QBs, you had a lot of different voices, and a lot of ideas bouncing off each other. And even though this was different, it worked, and they got the dub, and they moved to 5-3, and, and they are right in the mix of a super competitive AFC North that I only think is going to keep getting more and more insane. 
It just feels like the Steelers really do play the same game every week. They just hang around and hang around until they have to do something and then Pickett will pull a trick out of his hat and lead this team down the field and take the lead and then the defense will finish things off and win the game. And as a Browns fan, I've observed over the years that this is one of the luckiest teams in the history of football and I don't even know what it is, but opposing teams will literally fold for them. And I don't say that in a way to piss anyone off, but if someone fumbles, the ball will always take the right bounce for them. If there's a 50-50 call that they need, they usually will get it. And opposing teams will just do weird things that don't make any sense, like the one year where the Chargers called a timeout against the Raiders in overtime, which allowed the Raiders to win instead of tie, which sent Pittsburgh to the playoffs. But anyways, besides my point, I really do think the Steelers are set to have another great winning season this year, and they easily could sneak into the playoffs, and that would be great to get Pickett some experience. I don't think that this team is anywhere near being a contender, but with the way they play, they literally have a chance to beat anyone, and that means that going on a crazy run is definitely definitely possible to say the least. They definitely have some things to clean up in the locker room with the George Pickens situation, but I don't think that's going to affect anything too much, and I think everyone realizes that he's just a young competitive guy and he got over emotional and learned from his mistake. That's really all I have to say for this video. As I look ahead in the schedule, this team has two very important games coming up against the Packers and the Browns, and in typical Pittsburgh fashion, I think they're going to split these and continue to stay relevant as we start to approach the end of the season. Let me know in the comments below how you guys are feeling about this team after the win against the Titans on Thursday night and what you liked and what you think they can still improve on. Thank you all so much if you made it to this point in the video and if you enjoyed and haven't yet, please make sure to drop a like and subscribe because your support truly means the world. Also, make sure to comment on what you would like to see next because now that we are in the thick of the NFL season, there is just so much to talk about. But until next time, I will see you all later.